This is Business Rockstars from the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. I'm Jeannie Yerman, and our guests today are Becca Brown and Monica Ferguson. They are the co-founders of Soulmates. Ladies, nice to see you. Thanks for having us. So let's just um, recap. What does Soulmates do? Soulmates is a line of shoe care products, shoe care accessories, with the goal in mind of making you more comfortable in your own shoes. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> and you guys came up with this idea just out of personal experience, right? You'd be sinking in the grass at some social event. Absolutely. Yeah. Born yeah. out of personal necessity, every product we create solves a unique problem that we as women face, and we will be rolling out some products for men in the near future as well. Interesting. Okay. So just looking at some of the things here on the table. Um, so you started off with your Hallmark product, which is the shoe protector. Yes. Um, and how does that work exactly? So it works really simply. It just increases the surface area on the bottom of the heel to dissipate the pressure. Literally, it's a, a physics formula that we solved for. Um, so slightly larger surface area is enough, is enough to keep someone from sinking. Got it. Okay. And then, but now you've expanded, you have other products. Um, how did that evolve? Like, how long was it before you came out with the next product? And, you know, how did you decide what you were going to come out with next? Yeah, yeah. it was really organic. Um, we saw the need for additional accessories and products that solved really common shoe frustrations, like blisters. Unfortunately, a lot of people get blisters, yes. ourselves included. Um, so we created an all-natural anti-friction balm that you rub on your feet or your hands, anywhere you might experience chafing, and it prevents blisters from forming. And there are other products that sort of attempt to do that, but ours is totally natural. It's non-greasy, purposely fragrance-free. It's completely non-toxic, and it works incredibly well. Um, and so we saw the need for other problem solvers along those lines, both from our customers off our website as well as our retail customers were constantly asking us, like, what else do you have? What else do you have? So yeah. we looked around in the space and started thinking, like, these are all the other areas that we can create natural, non-toxic, really effective solutions. So what was it like? Were you, you were first direct to consumer, true, mm -hmm. through your website? Yep. And then what was your first retailer and what was that like to make that jump? Um, well, the first retailer was like a boutique in a small town where we had a friend. <laughs> well, isn't it often the way, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but really, I mean, brands, uh, retailers would ask us questions like, you know, what's your case pack size? And we would be like, what? whatever you need to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, what's your minimum? We'd be like, I, you know, more than one. <laughs> so, and, and we, we were not trying to come across like idiots. We were trying to come across really flexible. Like, we want to make this work. We'll yeah. do whatever we can to make it work. Mm -hmm. We're not going to put on errors and be like, you know, we need you to be ordering 100,000 units to make this happen. Right. We were very much like, you know, we use domestic manufacturing. We've got short lead times. We want to make this happen. We can change the packaging a little bit if you need it. Like, how, what can we do to make this work? Because ultimately, we want to be in the stores where people are going to buy the product. Right. And people are going to buy the product, like, again and again and again. And so that leads to a high turn rate. And that's really like the, the lifeblood of a retail product. Like, what is their turn rate? Mm -hmm. And so we've always been focused on that. So we have actually have a policy with all of our retailers. If the product is not selling at the targeted rate that you need it to sell, we will take it back at no cost. Interesting. And in the history of our little business, that's happened once. And it was a hat shop in Breckenridge, Colorado, which <laughs> where, where I suspect there were some other things at play. But we've <laughs> always offered to take products back because we don't want to be sitting on a shelf collecting dust. Sure. So turning to the retailers and how you're distributing this, I mean, you guys are in some big chains now. Yeah. And you yeah. just signed a deal with CVS, right? Yeah. Tell me about uh, <laughs> yeah. where you guys sell these products yeah. and uh, the CVS deal. Yeah, CVS is amazing. Um, we're actually in two areas within the store, one by the register, uh, which is part of a beauty on the go category, and it's our blister blocker and the high heel protectors. Mm -hmm. And then also in the beauty aisle in a new category called fabulous fashion extras. So it's all kinds of fashion solutions, head to toe, you name it, there's a solution there. And we're thrilled to be part of that. Um, so it's been great to work with CVS. We're nationwide. Um, we're also in DSW, which is an awesome retailer. We love yes. working with DSW. Um, they just acquired the Camuto Group, which is really exciting. So they're sort of continuing to own the shoe world. Yeah, we've been really lucky because in like this landscape of retail challenges, brick and mortar challenges, we have found ourselves aligned with really strong retail partners. Um, and we feel really lucky for that too. I mean, DSW is just like an awesome company to work with. CVS is an awesome company to work with. We're hopefully going to be rolling out to Ulta. Um, and on the flip side, we have an awesome Amazon business, <laughs> which, you know, to, yeah. which is credited for the retail downturn, <laughs> but we've been able to navigate it in a really good way and have a strong business and a good relationship with them. And we take part in a lot of 
Amazon's opportunities for small businesses. Um, we do a lot of like live streaming with them. We engage with our customers pretty well on Amazon, which is a mm -hmm. big challenge because they, they almost design it so that you don't engage with your customers too well. Um, but it's it's been a great experience. Terrific. Well, it's been such a pleasure talking with you guys. It's been such so much fun to be here. Thank yeah. you. Wish you the best and much continued success. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> From the NASDAQ market site, this is Business Rockstars. <laughs>